If you sell with print on demand and specifically the company Printify, this is a video that is a must watch all the way through because I am breaking down the seven features and settings you should absolutely have turned on in your shop and what to know how to use these features and utilize them to their best ability in selling with any platform that you connect to Printify. So let's hop straight into it. So the first feature to know about is the gift messaging feature in Printify. Now, only certain print providers offer gift messaging such as Swift POD and Monster Digital. And here is just on the screen a list of other print on demand providers that do this. Now, with the gift messaging, this is really neat and unique to Printify in connecting to Etsy is that if a customer on Etsy were to put in maybe a gift message for their order to a friend or family member, then Printify can integrate their system and have that gift message to put in the box. Now, the way to turn this on in your store settings is by going to store settings, then gift messages. And as you can see, there's a toggle where you will want to click on enable gift messaging for all eligible orders. Now you can edit this template. And when you go into edit this template, there are a few things that you can add to this template. So first of all, you can add in a logo or a picture. Honestly, it's not really as important though, because this is just a message to your customer's recipient at the end of the day. So you really don't have to do that, but you can change the font by clicking on this drop down and then there are 300 fonts with Printify that you can use. So I do also want to note there is a cost per message. Messages go a long way though, in my opinion. I think it is such a sweet and nice touch that it is worth it in my eyes to pay for that gift message. But again, if you don't want that feature, then you can just turn this off, which it usually is automatically turned off. The second thing that you have an opportunity to add to every item that you ship to a customer is also branded inserts. Now this goes such a long way for your business. And in fact, this is one way that we can bring back customers who may forget about us or may not think to shop with us again. But when we send a branded insert, what we can add, as you can see in the template that I've created, is we can add our logo in and then we can also say thank you for your purchase. And then we can add in a QR code that has a coupon that they can just scan right away and get back to our website. So the way that I created this coupon is I went to marketing, I went to sales and discounts, and then I created a promo code. After creating this promo code, the link that I had at the end, I copied and then I added, I went to Google, I typed in QR code generator. And then from there, I created a QR code. Then I pasted in the link that I received and from there, I put it into this area here. So that's how you can easily create a QR code and QR codes are what I recommend because the easier it is for a customer to get back to your shop, the more likely they're going to buy again. So I really recommend just doing the QR code method. It takes an extra step, but it goes a long way for your shop. Also to note that Printify has so many templates that you can just use from their collection. So if you go to graphics, there's thank you notes area here, and you can just click in and use the templates that Printify already has created for you. What I do recommend is adding in your branding, maybe your own logo as Printify has as a suggestion here. I try to make sure everything's within these dotted lines because sometimes things can get misprinted or not printed within those lines. So that's just one recommendation I have as well. But besides that, that is a feature I do highly recommend turning on in your shop. The next thing that you can do with Printify that's a really neat feature is you can duplicate a product in the my product section, and then you can change that product to a different product. Now I know this is something that's like obvious, but to others, this is a huge workflow hack because by duplicating, we can click on more actions and then click replace. And let's say we want to scale this listing out, this mug listing I have here to maybe let's say just changing it to a enamel mug as well. 
instead of just selling it as the black and white accent mug. So this is a quick way that we can just change this over. And what I can do when I replace the product is I'm just going to redo and replace the design on the product. And then I can save the product quite quickly. I can save this as a draft. And now I have this in the enamel mug version as well that I can push to my Etsy shop quite quickly. And then if I want to duplicate again and start over the process, I can continue the process and then I'll go to more actions. I'll replace again. And let's say I want to put this on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Then again, I can click on the hoodie and I can select the print on demand provider. So maybe I want to do Swift POD for this example. Then I'm going to delete that duplicated design and maybe I'm going to just put this in the middle of the hoodie. So I will save my product again. I'll save as draft. And then from there, I have already three different products that I can push to my Etsy shop. And this is a quick way that you can scale out your products and the items that you create on Etsy. Now, the other thing is the really cool part about the replace feature on Printify is we can replace. And if there's multiple print providers, as you can see, I have so many print providers that I can swap out this product for. So let's say for some reason, Swift POD, I decide I want to switch to Monster Digital. I can easily do that by clicking on select and continue. And then it will have me resize it again because every print on demand provider does usually have slightly different dimensions for their print size. So we will resize once more. And then we have, again, this change to the Monster Digital print provider instead. So this is just a quick way that you can scale out your shop and then also replace print providers if you need to as well. The next feature of Printify that is really neat is you can actually transfer all of your products on Printify to a different platform. So if you're selling on multiple platforms and let's say you create a new store on Shopify, then if you wanted to move all of your products to that new platform, let's say it's Shopify or maybe your own Printify pop-up shop, you can select all of your products. You can click on copy to, and then you can select the platform or the website that you want to copy and transfer your products to, you'll click on copy products. And then within a few minutes, up to 20 minutes, it does say on Printify's website, it will take to show up on your new shop and transfer all over to that new shop. So you don't have to upload all of your designs individually. Again, this just streamlines the process to make it super quick to transfer to a new platform or your own website. So the other feature of Printify is you can make a specific design for a color variant on Printify and you can actually create a different design variant for every single variant color that you have on your Printify listing and products. So an example is let's say I have a black hoodie and I want to add in a white design for that black hoodie. What I will do is I'll click on make a specific design and then I'll go back to my editing software. I will change that design to maybe a white version and then I will go back to my product and I will upload that different design. So I'm just gonna show that in this example here real quick. So if I wanted to add a white variation of this design over the black hoodie instead of the darker design I had before, I'm just going to upload that into where the design is. One pro tip I have is to keep the old design to make sure the sizing is about the same on the new design. And then I'm just gonna delete that old design and then I have that white version of the design and I still have the colored version on the white variant of this product as well. And then all you have to do is save the product and that is how I would create this design so I can offer a white version and also a black version or a darker colored version of the design as well. So the next feature to talk about is Printify Choice. Now what Printify Choice does is if you select it for let's say the Bell and Canvas 3001 and you know you have multiple customers let's say from Canada and the US 
and you find a lot of customers are purchasing and you have a print provider that's based in the U.S. So what tends to happen is if you're shipping to Canada, you're going to possibly give that customer either a international shipping fee or as the seller, you're paying for the free shipping in which you're paying that international shipping fee. Now, this is where Printify Choice comes into play in which if that order is from Canada, what Printify Choice will do is it will reroute that pack or that order to a print provider based in the customer's country. So this can save you on a lot of unnecessary shipping fees. And also what Printify Choice does is it's trying to find the best price and quality and speed. So not only does this save you in getting more profit, but also your customer is happier and that will lead to usually a higher review on your print on demand shop. So the last feature that you should absolutely know about if you are selling with Printify is that there is a bestseller list that I've mentioned in a few videos now, but I cannot recommend enough. So this bestseller list is showing the top performing product types across all types of sellers and all types of platforms. So that does include sellers who sell on Etsy, who sell on eBay, who sell on Shopify, their own website, what have you. This is showing what products are trending and what is selling the most. So as we can go down the list and see, there is the Bell and Canvas 3001, which is a staple for print on demand sellers, the Gildan 5000, Comfort Color C1717, candles, mugs, we see phone cases. So this just gives us insight and a ability to see on what may sell and what may not be selling as far as what to go into when we're creating designs for products, right? I might be selling t-shirts right now, but come to find out when I'm looking down the list, the Comfort Colors 1566 may be selling really, really well. And if I took my design that's selling and maybe it's a bestseller listing on Etsy and I transfer the design to the Comfort Colors 1566, that could be a great opportunity for my shop. So I would use this list as also a method to scale your business as you continue and grow because customers may be wanting these products that that you might not be selling yet. So besides that, that's it for this list today. If you haven't already started a Printify account, then you can get 30 days of Printify Premium for free by using the code and the link down below you'll see in the description. I highly recommend Printify Premium. This is kind of a bonus tip, if you will, in this video, but Printify Premium can save you a few cents to a few dollars per order that you get from customers on whatever platform you sell on. I know for me, I was saving thousands. I was actually getting thousands more in profit by having Printify Premium. Besides that, I hope this video helped those of you watching and don't forget to subscribe, stick around for that blooper reel because this was a struggle bus to film and thank you to my editor for editing this video. Besides that, I'll see you all in the next video here. So here's where I will just simply drag and drop that new design over just so we have that white version over the black hoodie instead. You know what, I have to, I have to edit this. I am so sorry for whoever said it. This is awful, this is so bad.